everybody in Facebook land. It is Molly Mahoney, and I am going to share with you the three most embarrassing things that have happened to me on Facebook Live. And I'm going to tell you that even though these super embarrassing things happened, Facebook Live has still been by far the best thing that has happened to my business as a coach and as a performer. So I have created a masterclass that I'm going to share with you guys for free on the 26th at 1.30 and I would love you to join me so that I can show you my favorite tips for Facebook Live. So before I get to the crazy embarrassing things that happened to me, <laughs> I want to remind you that if you're watching this in the replay, you can comment below. I'll come back and ask, uh, answer questions. So if you'd like to ask questions before the masterclass, ask them below here so that I can address them either here or in the actual masterclass live, which will be super awesome. And I love the hearts and the likes because it's a great way for us to be able to connect. I love it as a Facebook live broadcaster. And also I love it as a viewer because I love to be like, you just slide the little comment bar to the left and then you should get if you're on your phone and then you should get lots of likes and hearts and all of that where you can participate and connect with other people via Facebook live I love it okay before I get to these horribly embarrassing things that happened to me and how I dealt with them I want to talk to you about Facebook live a little bit so Facebook live is amazing for many reasons one is I don't know if you know this but people are 144 percent it's proven people are 144 percent more likely to make a purchase or to sign up for a service when they have seen a video about that purchase and with Facebook live you can actually connect in real life like right now this is live there's no editing there's no do-overs but all of that is also why a lot of people are freaked out about going live on Facebook because there's no editing right so who knows what could happen and there's a lot of there's a little bit of a technical thing about it and um, people don't realize the magical ways that they can repurpose these videos like you may notice that there are um, eventually not right now if you're watching live but eventually there will be some subtitles below there's like things that you can do to these videos after they have gone live turn them into blog posts download them and put them on YouTube there's things that you can do with these videos so that you are making the most of your time Hey, I see that we have some people live. Hi, hi, hi. I have yet to share my embarrassing moments, so you're in for a treat. I'm really just talking about how much I love Facebook Live right now and how awesome it has been for me and for my clients and um, about the webinar, the masterclass that I'm going to be doing on the 26th at 1.30. Okay, now, are you ready for the three most embarrassing things that have happened to me on Facebook Live <laughs> and how I dealt with them? Okay, the first one is actually, it's not that embarrassing. It's just, it's happened to me probably four or five times and it is super annoying so there's this whole thing about sound, right? We are actually speaking into this camera so that people can hear us on Facebook and people can participate because we're speaking and they can hear what we're saying. Um, you can also comment below down here like this. Watch. Hey, I don't know. if Oh, I just wrote yay, but whatever. Oh, autocorrect. Yeah. Okay. So when I first started doing live videos, I was doing live little trainings for my team. Um, I... <laughs> Almost every time, you guys, I would pick up my phone and I'd put my thumb over the little microphone on the bottom of my phone. It was a newer phone and I thought I was being so fancy because you have to do it vertical, right? So I was balancing my thumb down there and people could not hear anything that I was saying. So my poor friend Bobby was like, Molly, you're killing me. Why are you doing this? So I forgot about that. The other thing is that one time I took, this is still the first thing. So one time I was using that tripod that I had in my phone and I did this whole Facebook live thing and nobody said anything about it. They were like asking questions, but I had it in the tripod thing and the air conditioner was on. So the air conditioner was like <sighs> blowing back at my phone. Lessons learned. You guys use a microphone. This is a great way to do it because you can just hook it up right here. There's also little lapel mics that you can use, but this one is awesome because it's just super easy. Most people have the earbuds with the microphone for their phone and um, the quality is not that bad. So it's awesome. Okay. Avoid that problem. Now the next two are actually super, super embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> so the first one is because I'm a performance coach and I often give tips about breathing and speaking and things like that. I was doing a training on belly breathing. So I was doing a 20 minute Facebook live broadcast on my own personal wall. So I thought, right, about belly breathing and breathing really low. And I had the camera like all down low showing how my belly breathes in and out and how you have to let your diaphragm drop down and how that's the best way to be able to prepare, you know, have all this energy because you're going to be connecting to your breath. I literally went on for 20 minutes. And usually when I do my Facebook live broadcasts on my own personal wall, I get great engagement. Here on my business page, there's a little things that you can do to trick it out to get more engagement. But usually on my personal wall, it's like right away people will join in. 
So I'm like, why is my friend Sarah the only person here? And she's commenting back and saying she's breathing with me. I'm making all these weird faces and like showing my belly. Then I finish the broadcast and I look back and I'm like, why can't I find this video? Because I like to do all these things afterwards to repurpose the videos, right? So I go back and I'm like, why can't I find this video? Turns out I get a message like 10 minutes later. I get a message from somebody that I don't know on Facebook who says, hey, Molly, I loved your video about breathing, but I'm just wondering, did you know that you did that whole thing in this private training group that we were in? I don't know if you guys have heard of Todd Herman, but he's amazing. He teaches this course called the 90 day year and he has a Facebook group that is like, it's very supportive and loving, but it's all really business heavy. It's like not a place where I would go live. So I had accidentally done a full live broadcast focusing on my big old belly inside a private Facebook group. Do not do that, you guys. Make sure you can do live videos in groups, which is awesome, but make sure that you do these videos in the place that you want to do them. So if you're gonna go in a group, check and make sure that you're actually in your group. If you wanna do it on your private personal wall, make sure you're there. Um, you can do it in an event even, and you can also do it like this on a business page. So watch it. <laughs> I'm not okay. So what I ended up doing, because Todd talks about using the wow brain and not the owl brain, at first I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? So I deleted the video. And then I ended up uh, doing a funny little post. I made the most of it. We did a funny little post in the group. And then I redid the same exact training on my personal wall. And it ended up being like a great little dress rehearsal. I think the second video that I did was actually better. So yay. Thank you for the test run, members of the 90 Day Year. Okay, the last thing, and this is the most embarrassing thing. And maybe you've heard me talk about it because it was the most embarrassing thing that I've done so far in 2016. I am teaching a course called Camera Confidence. And in this Camera Confidence course, we're talking about lots of different things. But one of the things that I love to teach people about is the thumbnail of your um, video and how to, there's like a secret trick that I've never seen written anywhere, but it's a secret trick that I have for getting a good thumbnail. So I was really serious and I was using a new selfie stick. And I had the selfie stick and I was getting ready to go to this event. So I was all dressed up, Wi-Fi. Okay, my phone fell out of the selfie stick and landed, you guys, I'm gonna kind of show you what happened, landed, oh, my tripod just hit the wall, landed on the ground like that, but it was looking straight up my skirt, y'all, like, no joke, ridiculous. So when I looked down and I saw what was happening, I all I saw was like the view up my skirt. I don't know if you guys know much about my brand, but it is like super G-rated. So I looked down and I was like, ah, and I screamed and I backed up. And then I, so um, I screamed, I backed up and I did what I call the stop, drop and roll. So I stopped because I am really good at things like this happening to me. I stopped and I, I there were people watching live because I'm teaching this course, right? And the whole course is done live. So I was like, Rebecca, who is one of the people who I knew was in the chorus watching live. And I said, you need to tell me if I need to deal with this right now. Like, how bad was that? <laughs> and I realized people can't rewind videos while they're live. So if something that's embarrassing happens, don't worry until after the video's over. As soon as the video's over, you can go back and delete it. But don't worry about it right then. So I finished the video. Rebecca was like, it was only shadows. It was only shadows. I, I was supposed to go to a meeting. I messaged them and told them I was going to be late. So I did the stop. I assessed the situation. I dropped everything else. <laughs> I went back to the video. I rewound the place in the video where I was like, oh my gosh, what is actually happening with my life, right? I rewound to that place when all of the disaster hit and I took a screenshot and I sent it to my mother. And I was like, mama, you gotta tell me, like, is this going to ruin my career? Is this going to make or break me? What do I do? Because it was a really long, really great training and I didn't want to delete the whole thing. I figured I could edit it and re-upload it, but then I would lose all the comments and the engagement that had been happening. So, Hi, yi, 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 yi. So I, um, my mom was like, it's actually not that bad. Luckily, I'm a weirdo with clothes and I was wearing crinoline underneath my skirt. So I had like a big poofy slip on underneath my skirt. So you couldn't, and I was wearing booty shorts. So the lesson of that is always wear your chonies when you're doing live video because you never know what might happen. Okay, those are the three most embarrassing things that have happened to me on live video. I would love you guys to come to this masterclass. I have many more tips that I'm going to share with you. And if you sign up for this masterclass, you'll also get my checklist that I have, which has everything that you should do before you go live, during your live video, and after your live video so that you can make the most of it. Because I really firmly believe from everyone that I've spoken to that the two things that are happening in live video that are not working are people are either not doing it because they're freaked out and they should honestly you should be a little bit freaked out if you've never trained in speaking if you've never trained in any of this sort of thing it's okay but there are people who are here to help you so come to the master class I'm going to give you tips right so um, they're either freaked out for many different reasons 
or they're doing it wrong. So there's like all these things that people are doing with live video where it's not effective. Hey, I see that we have some people live. You guys, I just finished showing my, or explaining my three most embarrassing moments. So we're gonna be done in just a second here and you can go back. The third one is really bad. And um, I give you the good lesson as to how to avoid those things because there's no gozy backsies as my friend and coach Debbie Whitlock just said. Um, live video, it's like what's happening is happening. So join me on the 26th for this live webinar. We're going to be able to have lots of people there who can jump in and ask questions. And I'm also going to be giving away some amazing prizes on the webinar, on the masterclass. So join us for the masterclass. It's gonna be super fun. There's four tips that I'll be giving you about confidence, about speaking and doing a nice, awesome, like some tricks that I have for fine tuning your speaking skills. Also, I'm going to be teaching you my favorite way to stay on track because you guys, woo, if you're creative like I am, the squirrel brain takes over, you know, squirrel takes over. And um, I have a really great trip for, tip for staying on task. And I'm also going to talk to you about repurposing your videos after they're done so that you can make the most out of this time that you are spending doing these live videos. Okay, you guys are amazing. I will see you on the 26th live. Woohoo! Okay, bye.